what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully designed our video upload activity where we have this upload view as well as the post view we'll show the video upload view at first to the user and when user click on plus it will show the post view so let's implement how to select the video from external storage and also get the path of that video so that we can upload that video to our firebase storage so let's get started Let's go to video upload activity. Now first let's go to manifest and check the permissions. If you go to manifest we have this internet permission. We have this read external storage permission. You can see over here read external storage is deprecated and when targeting android 13 plus you need to add either images either video permission. So for android devices that has 13 plus it needs read read media video permission. So let's add that. So here what we will do read media video permission. So for Android 13 plus we'll use this before 13 we'll use this. Let's go to video upload activity. So how we'll implement that when we click on this it will first check for the permission. When we don't have the permission we will show the permission dialog so that user will allow the permission. If we have the permission we'll directly go to the folder and select the video. So to go to the folder we have to fire the intent. So for that intent we will get some result. So that result will contain the video ID. So let's implement that first get the binding let in it where binding activity video upload binding binding equals to activity video upload binding dot inflate layout inflator binding dot root. So we have got the binding let's create another variable that will be a selected video URI. So it will get the path it will of type URI let's make it nullable and provide null at first when we select the video we will get the result from the android so we will get the video path so for that we have activity launcher let's create variable for that let in it where uh, let's say video launcher you can see over here activity result launcher click on that and it will be of type intent because from intent we are getting the result declare the variable here we will come and first we will assign the video launcher register for activity result here we will pass activity result contracts it needs activity result contracts dot start activity for result and from here we will get the result so it will be let's say result so with this result if video is selected we'll get the uri so let's first check if result dot result code that means it is selected or not so if it is result okay that means video has been selected so selected video URI will be from the result itself. Rose result dot data dot data. So from this result we will get the data that is the selected video data and we will set the URI of that selected video to our selected video URI. It is null at first it will get the video URI. So we have to launch this video launcher as well. So from where we will do that when we click on this button. So this button is binding dot upload view dot set on click listener so when user click on upload view here we will check the permission and we will launch this video launcher so for that i will create a method check permission and open video picker let's say so this method i will create over here after this on create method check permission and open video picker we can make it private so here first we'll check the permission so for that i will uh, create a variable a string read external read external video that will be a string i will assign this empty string for now since for android 13 we have different and for older version we have different so what we will do if build dot version dot sdk int is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot this this version is the android 13 version so if it is equal or greater than android 13 version we will use this as a so read external video permission will be android dot manifest dot permission dot read media video so it will take the read media video permission if it is greater than 13 else we'll copy this paste it it will be external storage permission read external storage so in this way we have added this permission to our read external video so whatever the android version is it will take according to that after that we will check if there is a permission or not so context compact dot check self permission context will be this and permission is read external video if it is equal to equal to package manager dot permission is granted if the permission of read external video is granted that means we have permission so we can go to video picker so let's create a method video picker 
if we have permission else we don't have permission activity compat dot request permission so request permissions in this we have to pass activity and array of request we have only single request as of now read external video and let's say request code will be 100 so in this way we will send the request if it is not there if we have the permission it will directly open video picker let's create a method that will be private fun video picker so if we don't have permission it will ask for permission if we have permission it will open video picker so what we will do here for now we will just show a toast video picker let's check this flow run it now let's click on add video let's click on this button so that it will ask permission because it is the first time we have not granted if we click on this it will ask the permission allow our application to access photos and videos on this device if we click on allow it is allowed if now we will click on click and upload video it will show video picker now if we close app and again come back also you can click over here it will show the video picker because permission is already granted we have the permission that's why it is showing video picker now it is going to if condition and it is opening video picker now we have the permission we can get the video from the user so what we will do here is we will pass the intent like we start the activity in the same way we have to get the intent to start the launcher for video picker so intent dot action we have action pick what will pick media store dot video dot media dot external content URI so intent dot type will be video slash star it will get all the videos and we have this video launcher here we have this video launcher we will launch that video launcher dot launch intent so in this way it will launch the video launcher and when we get the video when we select the video we'll get the value in selected video uri so how we will test that let's show a toast over here got video and what is the video selected video uri dot to string let's just print the path of the video if we run it first let's add videos to our emulator if you have device you can add videos to your device you can also record the video but here we don't have video let's add from any folder i have downloaded some sorts video so i'll copy everything let's go to the home page of this so i'll copy everything and just drag and drop in the emulator if we want to copy it will directly copy to the downloads folder so if you copy it it is copying now if you go to files you can see all the videos are there so you can either play one by one so that it immediately we will get the list so these all are the videos so i have added eight videos in the downloads folder now let's run the application and see add video if i click on this now it should show all the videos so you can see over here we have this select a video and we have eight videos if i go back there is nothing if i click on this go to download i have all the videos i can select any of the videos so if I select videos, it should show the toast. So let's say I have selected this. So we have got the content URI. So got video and we have the path. If you select any other video, it will get the path. That means in this application, in our application, we are getting the path of the video. So we are getting the selected video URI. That means we are successfully able to add the permission and we are successfully able to pick the video from the external storage. So that's all for this video. So in next video, what we will do when we have selected the video, this visibility will be gone and we will show the post view. So in that post view, we can write the caption, we can post the video. So that we will implement in next video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye.